What's up guys? This is my Integra Super Sonic Blue Pearl K swap. Check it out. Damn, man. Definitely gotta lose some weight. Thanks for doing this, by the way. For doing what? The review. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. I support, I your, I support your channel, bro. I really appreciate that, bro. All right, it's gonna be a little noisy in here because we're uh, kind of gutted, but we're here with Ant and his K-Swap Integra. And tell us about your car, bro. How long have you had this thing? I've had this car going on four years. Um, started from ground zero. The only thing it really came with was a paint job. It came with the blue color on it? Yeah, this is the original GSR show. Okay. They only made a certain amount of this, these colors in 99 and I believe 2001. I didn't know this was a GSR when you got it. Yeah, GSR is, is like one of the known known colors yeah. for a GSR. What's the color? Is it Sonic Blue? Yeah, Supersonic Blue Pro is what they call it. That's a sick name. So, uh, did you get it as a shell or did you get it as with the motor in it and everything? I got it with the B20V in it. Okay. And I just always had B series. I always had B series motors and I got the car like in 20, 2016 and everybody was already into K swaps long. And I just, I wanted to change it up. Right. And so I found a really good buyer for the B20V and a really good price on a K20. And I bought the K20 and that's when everything changed. <laughs> I, my whole perspective, I love I, I love B-Series and then K is just, it's just a different ball game. It's just different. Everything is different. So it was a V20 like, it wasn't boosted, right? No. So all motor. Boosted. All motor B20V, pushing like 198 to the what, wheels. And what is this making? This one's at 220 to the wheels. All right, so what kind of mods you got running on here? Right now it's on a tune. It's we've got the K Pro V4. Okay. Uh, on data. Nice. It's got mild mild upgrades. Uh, intake headers. Just exhaust. Mild mild stuff. It's got suspension. Like I'm making suspension, not the greatest, but they're okay. You got a uh, passport mounts in there. Yeah, passport mounts. Probably like the closest to stock that you can get, but it still feels like a fucking rock. <laughs> um, and then that's, that's really about it. It's just the tune. Tony at uh, Jet Performance helped me tune it. Big part of the tune. You guys know Tony. He had the Supercharged S2000 that I did a long time ago. I'll put uh, I'll put a shop in the description. How long have you had this thing? Going on four years. Damn, man. Do you work on it yourself? Yes, I do most of the work myself. All right, so did you do the swap too, or you had a shop do it? I had a shop do it. Okay. Uh, Xavier at Wireworks put the motor in, and then all I did was dress it up. Nice. Is it easy to work on? Yeah. Typical Honda life? Yeah. So when, it, when you're talking about all motor between like a B series, like the B20 you had, and a K series, is the K series like just that that one step higher? Like it's kind of like that more extreme, like smooth daily driver kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. I, the difference that I noticed automatically when I did the swap was the top end. The top end it just screams at 8,000. <laughs> it, it just and it wants to keep going. Does this rev to nine? No, uh, it could, but I have it set up to 78. Okay. What is, when does VTEC come in? VTEC kicks in at 5.3. Five, five, nice. Are you running aftermarket clutch? I'm running a stage 3 ACT clutch. Did you get these seats brand new or you got them used? Just curious. Oh, I bought the seats. Uh, uh, I actually traded them. I didn't buy them. I, I got them. I traded them. This guy, I had S2, S2000 seats in here. Okay. And the guy wanted seats that reclined. So I was like, all right, well, what seats do you have? And he told me he had the Recaro SPG seats. And I was like, you want to trade? And he's like, yeah, I want to do an even trade. And even I, trade? Even trade, bro. And I'm yeah. like, for Recaro SPGs? I'm like, okay. Nice. I'll trade them. And then I just bought the harness. 
and then that was it. Yeah, that's sick, man. I just want to mention this interior. I'll, I'll put the shots here. Is like it's super clean. Did you get the interior like this, or did you swap the panels and stuff? No, the interior was like this, just really dusty. The, the car wasn't really taken care of, so I just, you know, putting my my touch on it, which is, you know, clean. <laughs> hey, you cleaned it up nice, man. Yeah. So uh, I heard you're unfortunately gonna sell this thing. Yes, I will. The time has come. I'm ready for something that's a, you know, rear wheel drive. I mean, I've had rear wheel drive cars in the past. Okay. But I, I haven't had a Honda, a rear wheel drive Honda. What did you have before this? Before this, I had motorcycles. Oh, I, I didn't okay. have cars. Gotcha. But I did have, this, this is funny, I had my first car was an 83 Supra. What? My first car I ever got was an 83 Supra. And then after that, I jumped to an 88 Mitsubishi Stereon. That was that car was uh, pretty uh, fun and eye catcher. Everybody yeah. always thought it was like a Back to the Future car. It's a it's a, it's a no, quirky looking car for sure. Yeah. And then after that is when I got into the Hondas. I started getting Integras, Civic hatches. You had a Civic yeah. hatch? Yeah, I had a Civic hatch with a B, with a JDM V16. Was it an EG or EK? EG. Okay. I haven't had an EK. But it was an EG, and, I, and it was that was pretty fun too. VTEC would pop like crazy. <laughs> On the right tune, that VTEC pops, man. It reminds me when I drove uh, Bernie's hatch. Bernie's hatch, yeah, Bernie's hatch. I think it's fun. But he's got a Type R. Yeah, yeah. I like the, uh, I don't know, man. Something about hatch is always like just, it catches my eye. Every time I see a hatch, I give him a thumbs up. You say you daily drove this for a little while, right? I, drove it, I daily drove it for three months. It had AC. Oh. But the AC was going to crab, it was leaking, and I just didn't want to fix it. I was more into like the shows, <laughs> okay. so I started taking everything out. It, 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 it just looks more cleaner with the engine bay empty. It does. And I just fell in love with it, started taking it to shows, and just drove it like that. Because this is not my daily, I have another car also. Right. Got the Central Florida's cleanest Accord. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, you have no power steering in this, or you do? No power steering. Okay. It used to have it, but I took that out too. Honestly, bro, just cruising, I, I could definitely drive this every day. Maybe with some slightly less stiff seats. And a little <laughs> bit better weather, bro. Yeah, yeah. Today's that, that, a beautiful day. That too. If it was like 95 degrees right now, I, I think we'd nah. be dying in here. Yeah, no, no, we, we wouldn't last. If I was gonna build a K-Swap, that's probably the only thing I would leave in. I don't need power steering. Not at all. But AC, I'd probably leave AC, especially if you live in like Texas or a uh, place where like Arizona where it gets really hot in the summer. Florida. Do you have the stock shifter in here? Yeah, it's the K2 no cut shifter shifter box. Okay. And what kind of knob is that? I've never seen that one before. That's an acuity shift knob. It's clean. Yeah. I, I got it because it's white and it matches my wheels and doesn't get hot, you know? So this is probably the only thing that's a little different when you're sitting at like a red light mm -hmm. and the idles. It's a little, little shakier than like a regular Integra if you bought one bone stock, but yeah. you get all the fun of a K-Series, so I can't complain. I don't mind I don't mind like rattles like this, like any any kind of like little noise that a car might make, especially like for a gutted car, this is pretty... It's not that loud. Nah, not at all. <laughs> sounds so good. Like people think, oh yeah, 200 horsepower, that's not much. When you have a really light car, it's all the difference. What does this thing weigh, by the way, do you know? If, you had to I guess? Want, if I wanted to guess, like maybe around 23 to 2400 pounds. Yeah, that's nothing, man. And this thing handles the corners so good. Yeah. I love, I love the sound. Yeah, it's pretty planted. I like it. I've always been into like Civics, but I don't know, man. You're really making me fall in love with Integra's now. <laughs> the interior is like kind of more luxury, if that makes any sense. It, Acura, Acura was more of like the luxury yeah. end of Honda. Which which K series is this? Is this the? This is the K20A2. Okay. The 
did you do the cage as well? Like, did you? I painted it. I installed it. Did a did a quite a bit of few, few things to this car in the four and a half, four years I'm going on. I really can't believe you're gonna sell it, man. I know a lot of people are saying that, but it's just like it's just, it's just time. Yeah, I, I'm that type. Like once I build something. I just ready for something new. I, right. I always want to challenge myself to do something, another take another step to do another car. You know? Yeah. This thing's fucking awesome, man. Would you say the turn-in radius is a little, a little different with all the mods? It's just hard with the fucking power. No power steering. Yeah. Not to be in this thing and smile, man. Oh my god. <laughs> There's just something about like an all motor four cylinder, man. Especially like when they say K is the way, that's the honest truth. I do, but don't underestimate those B series. Those B series are are monsters. No, they're great. I just I feel like if I was gonna do a B series build, I'd have to boost it. Yeah. I feel like for all motor, I feel like K is the king. Yeah. Oh, I agree on that on that aspect. Bro, this thing in the corners is nuts. <laughs> I see why you got the racing seats now. You, yeah, you're, you're really glued, bro. Like, yeah. This thing's awesome. Yeah, I love it. I love it, but it's just it's, it's time. It's time. I've always had front wheel drive cars for the longest. It's just it's just time. Hopefully, the next car you get. When you're done with it, maybe we could do a video with that too. Oh yeah. When people think of a Honda, they think of like cheap, not yeah. so well built. It's really nice when you get a really clean one. It makes all the difference. What exhaust do you have on here? Vibrant. Vibrant. Civic or Integra. Yeah. So I'm happy I was able to get in this one, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thanks, bro. Yeah. So how much do you think if somebody was looking to do a swap for, like how much would you say to put aside for a swap for a K swap? Between cable, the uh, shifter cable, shifter box, axles, motor, ECU, at least at least 3500 okay at least so maybe like four or five on the safe end okay okay buddy uh oh I think for hard driving, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Third, nigga. <laughs> 
does have a little bit of torque steer. I can feel it, but I'm saying like the size of the wheel for like the like well, hard drive. Probably you in here. Okay. Just be careful with the, the hill. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, turn that way, turn that way. Yep. There you go. Just go inside. Yep, turn it. All right, you're good. can't thank you enough man <laughs> that was it thank you guys for coming along the ride thank you mike i appreciate you man thank you man um enjoy the rest of your day please stay corona safe huge shout out to ann for letting me uh take a ride in his car i know he said he doesn't let many people drive it so i definitely feel pretty special and uh, if you guys enjoy leave a like and i'll see you guys next video don't forget to keep him in life at max speed peace